Dr. Maru. Do your tanga tang, man. Woo! Do your tang, do your tanga tang. Do your tang, do your tanga tang. Do your tang, do your tanga tang. Well, I got to tell you something. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to come out. I really appreciate you know everybody's time valuable, and uh, it's really an honor to have you guys here and come and share another uh, another part of our, our journey with us. It's been a long journey, and uh, the journey condition continues, the tradition continues. I'd like to thank Mr. Gene Chavez. He's gonna he's the promoter of the show. The show's called Five Eyes the Kid. That we look productions and association with Penny Company Dollar Enterprises LLC. We'd like to thank the Coach Club, Coach Club Cabana, coming in and being a major sponsor, major player in the game. And um, the, the venue is the pit. A lot of people ask him why the pit. We say why not the pit. It's the, it's the premier venue in the state. We're honored and, to be there. And it's uh, there's a plan in place for more. We're going to put the pit back on the map with other other shows, not just boxing, but other type of events. And this is going to be the first of many. And uh, thanks for sharing it with us. And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Chavez. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everyone, for making it out. Uh, to touch upon what uh, Jacob said is uh, the pit in Albuquerque, New Mexico, is a uh, world-class venue. Uh, it hosted the uh, very famous Final Four, Jim Bolano and Wolfpack back in 1983, and it was revamped uh, two years ago uh, to one of the most prestigious venues, not only in the state, but uh, in the country. There's no reason why premier events should not be held there. Uh, we have New Mexico's premier fighter, uh, writer, Mr. Arturi Marquez. There's no reason that he shouldn't be uh, fighting uh, at the pit in the premier venue. Uh, we have uh, other quality bouts. And uh, we'd like to put on a good show. Uh, we need community to help and uh, to appear. Our tickets are very reasonable. We start at $15. Uh, there's no reason why we can't uh, pack that pit and support uh, our fighters. There's no reason why we can't go over there and uh, pack that pit to have a good time on that evening. Uh, so far, we've had a great uh, turnout from uh, the community in supporting us and the university as well uh, in allowing me to uh, use the pit. We would like to do future events. There's an HBO event uh, scheduled for uh, Archie Ray uh, coming up in October. We're in uh, negotiations with the pit for that as well. The pit has not hosted boxing since, I believe, the mid-1990s. It's time for it to start again. So uh, without uh, further ado, uh, we'll go on further with the uh, with okay. And another thing I'd like to thank the uh, Special Spaces in Albuquerque. For those of you who aren't familiar, it's an organization that helps uh, children and children with ill diseases. We remodel their rooms. A portion of our proceeds from T markets going to special sports on the spaces, and it's just a beautiful cause. And we hope we all have to get the message out there to raise awareness that special spaces is here in the New Mexico. And again, the Coco Cabana, GSP. So the card is going to consist of Chris Anaya versus Mario Eastman. Chris Anaya is here. Uh, it's it's with regret that I say that Brandon Holmes is here and he was scheduled to be on the show and he had to pull out with an injury. Thank you for coming, Brandon. Appreciate it. This battle is being replaced by a battle between Adrian Lopez versus Rocky Ramirez. And the next battle we have on the lineup is going to be Tony Valdez versus Raymond Hollywood Montanez. It's going to be a great bout. Those of you who haven't seen Hollywood fight, he always brings a uh, just pack a punch, but he puts on a little show. And, uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen Tony Valdez, then uh, you're in for a treat for this one. And then we also have Amanda Ray Boom Boom. Chris Speed, so we'll be fighting Angela Hayes out of Denver. And our co-main event will be Archie Lee Marquez versus Ricky Alexander out of Oklahoma. Ricky Alexander, let me tell you, he's a kid with, with uh, eight, nine, nine, eight records. 
either he knocks the guy out or he gets knocked out, but he comes to fight, it's going to be a war. And, you know, it's the perfect fight. Um, we, we're not looking ahead to anything, but uh, it's the perfect fight because, you know, if you follow Archie Marcus, you know, we never take the easy way out. And we've dealt with tough opponents, and Ricky's no exception. And uh, in the main event, we're going to have Max Heyman versus JJ Corn. And uh, JJ is a veteran of over 70 fights. And Max, for all of you know, is a, is a veteran as well. And it's just a pleasure and honor to be fighting in the pit and uh, to be working with these young men. I know all of them, they're good kids. Um, I got involved in boxing because of kids. And uh, I, I love them all like my kids. Especially this boy here. But anyways, I'd like to, if the guys say a word, uh, we'll start with you, Raymond. Well, thank you guys all for coming out. I like to thank my cat, God first of all. Thank him for everything. Um, you know, since we saw Johnny's precious life go too soon, he deserved the credit for how I'm about to get it. And Tony, come ready, baby. Because I'm gonna put it on you all night. You already know it. You already know it. You already know it. Well, I guess we'll go with Tony. <laughs> I'm going to be on this card. I want to thank my team. Ben Maldonado and David Kane, the school kid. I thank my coach, Pat Holmes, and my family. You know, they're all being supportive. It's been a long time since I've fought. But uh, I'm excited. You know, it's been a while. I've just been trying to maintain my family and get things situated at home. But I'm back. I love this guy's attitude. He, uh, you guys are gonna get through. You guys see a good show. I'm just gonna let you guys see it. August 25th. Uh, we'll see you out there. But uh, it's gonna be a event that I win. I don't know. We'll see. You guys see a good show. That's all I gotta say. Next we have Amanda Boom Boom Christine. Hi guys, I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. Um, I'd like to thank Ali Boxing for helping me out for this fight. My dad, Carlos Crispy, for getting me this, and uh, Jake. Also, I want to thank all my fight fans for always following me. And I get a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Angela Lady is going to be ready. I heard she's coming for a knockout. But it's working hard, so I'll see what we do in the ring. Thank you, 
Andre Marquez. What's up, brother? Do you think boxing? First of all, we always on it, baby. Um, Tony Valdez told me to put up and shut up. You know what I'm saying? We always did his boots in the blue lounge. He was back. Tell me with all the fight fans that came out and supported us for the press conference. Thank all you guys. I like to thank you for the exclusive. Everybody out here that came, all the Hollywood fans, everybody like that. Come out the 25th. Fireworks, baby, down at the pit. RIP Johnny Tapia, man, I love you with your team, baby. You're about to see me again, again. Hopefully take this fuck down in the first round, too. You know how we do. That's what's up. This is Hollywood Ray Montes. This best, greatest kept secret in boxing right here. Hollywood.
broke my hand about four months ago. But I'm ready now and absolutely better be ready. That's what's up. You know anything about your opponent at all? All I know is she has that height on me, but other than that, she has nothing else. She's telling, they're telling me that she's coming for a knockout, but that ain't gonna happen in my backyard. That's what's up. And any final words for the 505, your friends, family, fans, people out there for you, team boxing? I would just like to invite all my fans, all my family, friends, everybody out here in Mexico and everywhere else to come and watch me fight. Also, all the local fighters support New Mexico boxing. We're making it to the top, baby. That's what's up. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we got Max Heyman, but I like to call him the Mighty Maximus. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for interview. So, how you feeling coming up with the 25th of this fight? You know, I feel great. You know, the biggest difference between this fight and fights that I've had in the past, because I've had 39 professional fights before, is that I'm actually already somewhat prepared now, maybe seven months ago. That's never happened before. So I have plenty of time to train. I'm already in good shape. Whatever injury I've had in the past, like I say in the press conferences, then the press conference that we just had, is that my injuries are doing really well. So I really am looking forward to this fight in terms of being able to give it my all and uh, seeing where I stand and uh, doing as well as I can do. So did you know anything about this guy at all? Yeah. Not necessary. You know, I, I was telling one of the uh, younger guys at the gym, talking about how they need to get back in and you know, they have to sit there and train hard, which of course you have to do, but how they like to... to um, to scout their opponents. And when you get to the point where you've had as many fights as I've had, you can pretty much sum up your opponent in 15 seconds. So I don't need to see a lot of video tape on this guy. I already know what to expect. I've already fought probably 20 just like him. So I just have to fine tune it when we get in there. So I'm not concerned about him or what he brings. He's going to have to be more concerned about what I bring than what he has to bring. That's what's up. Any final words for the 505? Do your team boxing, friends, family, fans? Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I just hope everybody shows up for the fight. We have a good night of fights. Uh, team Old School has been working with me, and they're great guys. I love working out at South San Jose, and uh, I hope we get a good uh, support coming out for this fight. That's a lot, Max. Appreciate it. You got it. All right, this is your Team Boxing. Archerey Marquez, how you doing, brother? Good, good, you? I'm doing wonderful. So, August 25th, a big date. Tell me about that date, man. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fireworks. Be ready for it. And uh, I don't know much about the guy. It's gonna be his ass. That's what's up. And uh, you know, you say you don't know much about him. So, what is your other expectations other than beat his ass? Just working. Get a lot of work. Need a lot of work, so yeah, a little workout. Okay, and after this right here, what's next for you after you put it on here? Well, after this one, we got HBO. Hopefully, if everything goes well with this one, we got HBO in our cover. That's what's up. That's a blessing. And any final words for the 505, do your team, your friends, family, fans, all in the bug? All of them, all of us. Uh, uh, tune in, Jordan. Uh, come watch the show. Be a great night of show, a great show, and thank you everybody for support. August 25th, we're going to see Archie Ray Marquez put some gloves and hopefully put somebody in the coffin that night. Yeah. All right, peace out. All right, this is Do Your Ting Boxing with Jacob Mays, manager of Archie Ray Marquez. How you doing today, brother? Just fine. Thanks for coming out. Definitely. So August 25th, boxing at the pit once again. So what everybody wants to know is why the pit? Well, why not? Go big or go home. You know, we just want to, we, we're fortunate enough to have some uh, people backing us and uh, it's about giving back to the community. It's about bringing not just this boxing event, but other boxing events and other shows to the pit. We got one of the best venues in the world, so the goal is to utilize it for more than just the boxing. And, you know, and, and let people that can't always make it to the pit gate, to the Lobo games, access to the pit uh, with other avenues. So we're honored to be there. It's a dream come true. So we got a great fight card that you put together. And um, which ones are you looking forward to watching the most? I'm looking forward to all of them. But, you know, of course, Hollywood and Tony Valdez is going to be a good fight. Max Heyman and JJ Corn is going to be a good fight. Archie's fight is going to I, I think the matchups are, are great. And uh, it's going to be a great show. We appreciate any, everyone coming out. And as far as expectations go, what's your expectations for Archie on this one? Well, you know, do his thing. Work hard in the gym, get in there, and may the best man win. That's always our attitude, but we feel we're the best man. So I see you got the poster in your hand. You got to put the poster up for the fans out there, you know what I mean? There that way go. they can see that before they get on the internet and all that, it's right there. And um, 
you know, after if we get through this, you know, we got an HBO deal uh, in October where we're going to be the opening uh, fight on uh, Boxing After Dark. And uh, we're in negotiations right now, hoping to bring that show to the pit as well. So if things go our way, we'll, we'll have HBO Boxing After Dark here at the pit. You know, uh, go big or go home. That's what I say. That's what's up. So any final words for the 505? Do your team boxing, friends, family, fans? No, we just thank everybody for the continued support. It's been a journey. Our journey continues. The tradition continues. And, you know, of course, we're dedicated this fight to John Tapia, Archie's trainer. And, you know, we know he's still with us in spirit. And uh, just come out and support. Love everybody. Thanks a lot, brother. Much Appreciate love. it. Thank you. Dr. Maru. Do your tang a tang, man. Woo! Do your tang, do your tang a tang. Do your tang, do your tang a tang. Do your tang, do your tang a tang.